Good morning. It is a nice morning. If you haven't noticed, it's morning. All right, in this video, I'm gonna take this stock pot, my uh, kettle. It got a little dirty on me when I was doing the, uh, when I did the understanding your brewing equipment video, since I boiled water for so long, about an hour in total, all that calcium and hard minerals got deposited on the bottom of my pot and it left a stain. So in this video, we're gonna help clean that off. I used the salt and vinegar method and the main reason why I chose this method was because it seemed to be the quickest. Didn't have to put vinegar in the pot and let it sit overnight or bring it to a boil or anything like that. It's just salt, vinegar, scrub, and maybe put a little dish soap for lubrication. I like doing that way because honestly it only took three minutes to clean the pot completely and get all that calcium deposit off. It did a fantastic job. I'm very impressed with this method. I used coarse salt with some vinegar. I used probably more vinegar than necessary, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough lubrication. I'm not sure if you can use regular salt. The only thing I'm thinking of that could be cautious about that is the salt dissolving and becoming just more of a paste. Maybe that's actually what you want, I don't know, I haven't done that method yet. Probably will be doing the salt and vinegar method throughout until I find a different method. Also, when you're doing this method, don't forget to do the lid. The lid also catches a lot of steam and you need to get that taken care of well. So when you're doing this method, you don't want to be scrubbing just forever. Don't scrub forever. When you start looking into articles on cleaning stainless steel pot with vinegar, they always caution you to not let the vinegar sit on the pot for too long. Now, what is too long? From my estimation, it looks to be about 24 hours. I've seen people say, just let it sit for 24 hours. But nobody really had a set time on how much is too much when you set vinegar in a stainless steel pot. It looks like it can be anywhere between three hours to an hour. I don't know. I always err on the side of on the side of cautious just because I'm so new to this and I don't want to make any big mistakes. So what I did was I just went in there and got went in, cleaned it, and I got out and I rinsed that pot off immediately. And like I said, it only took me three minutes to really start scrubbing. And I just rinsed it off immediately and said done. And I'm not even gonna worry about it. If you clean your pot with this method, clean it and rinse it out immediately. Don't let it sit overnight. Don't do any of that stuff. Get it in, clean it, get it done, wash it off, dry it, and store it. Lastly, make sure that you get the side walls uh, done well too. That's one area I noticed where when I was scrubbing, I needed to give more attention to because it wasn't completely getting rid of all that gunk on the side of the pot. So make sure you do that as well. But yes, I would highly recommend this method. It's a great method, I enjoyed it. And uh, I'm tired and I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Cause <laughs> I've been up since four. It's, uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe, all that good jazz. And just have a great day, have a great day.